Hi guys, Jamie here. This is the place for coaches, creators, and entrepreneurs who want to build rapport in that bank account through tailored experiences like retreats and summits. Today's video, we're going to talk about recorded videos versus live retreats and the pros and cons for both. Personally, I love live events, but they're not always possible due to steady Wi-Fi streams and that sort. So having a paid video is very beneficial in times where, you know, the internet goes down <laughs> or the power goes out. Um, so there's pros and cons to both. One's more safe, one's more interactive. So the beauty of live videos is you just have this feeling of authenticity and in the moment of a live video like you know that they're here they're saying hi they might be reading the feed and like shouting out to particular people it just feels less staged and less polished which people are always looking for authenticity you know Instagram doesn't love perfectly curated people and most people aren't perfect so showcasing like when you stutter or showcasing like a pause or a need for water that's all human and people love human those are the pros of having an in-person live virtual retreat presentation a con is definitely bandwidth now bandwidth like when your shit goes down you can't really recover from it and then what as a host do you do to entertain your people while you try to figure out how to get your stuff back up granted it doesn't happen all the time, but you know, when you think that will never happen to me, it definitely does. So a way to circumvent that hurdle, practice at the same spot on the same day with a connected computer. And those are the ways to ensure that you have the, the best dry run possible before you head into the actual retreat live. I always suggest to my hosts that you have the speakers pre-record the presentation itself. That way if shit hits the fan you have something to present the retreat doesn't stop just because one speaker goes down another downfall of live presentations is the question and answer feed so if you're presenting live you will get distracted by the feed itself because you want to see what people are saying and if they're asking questions but if you start to entertain the questions during your presentation you're gonna go far left and then you're not gonna finish your presentation on time you need to make sure that as a re event host that your speaker doesn't get sidetracked with that live feed everyone wants in-person or in real-time feedback but sometimes that is very distracting so offering a Q&A session after the presentation even if it's live is very important now we talked about live video let's talk about pre-recorded video so basically all the pros for in-person video or live video is like the cons for in-person video. Um, there is something to be said for, um, you know, authenticity, but having that pre recorded video ensures quality. It ensures that the speaker shows up It ensures that it's quality recording and that the right message is getting to your people. It also allows you the space and the sanity to know that you have all your presentations and they're already there. So like literally if the speaker doesn't show up, then you have all the things. Now a way to offer like an in real time response with a pre-recorded video is to have live Q and A session. Now live Q and A sessions are a little bit more lenient on attention span. Now you still want to have the written feed because Wi-Fi is um, heavier sucked in video and sound, but that live feed on the screen is more secure or less susceptible to waves in the service, in the Wi-Fi service. A pre-recorded video definitely gives you the host a peace of mind. You know that all the work has been done up front and that you can kick off this retreat and host it successfully without the speakers actually being there. If you want to meld the two between an, a live recording or a virtual live interaction with a pre-recorded video, have the speaker come on for a little chat session after their time slot and or for a panel later. But I hope you can see the value of, of either having a live video, having a live speaker, having um, pre-recorded sessions but then also offering a live component and that really melds all the two together 
through the end of April, my VIP day is $4.97. After April, it's going to go back up to $9.97. And I have a few openings for April. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, you're ready to spin up a retreat in the next 90 days, and you want to serve your clients the best way possible, please be sure to sign up for a connection call in the chat below. So if this has been helpful, be sure to smash the like button, follow for more, or hit that little alert if this is resonating and you want to see more from me. In the comments below, tell me, do you prefer virtual retreats or do you like the pre-recorded messages? Let me know.